Hey guys, Chris with Thunder Laser. Uh, we wanted to go over something that's asked quite often, and that's, can I cut an object that is larger than the size of my bed? And yes, it's possible, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So there's, there's a huge caveat to this. Uh, you have to make sure you keep the substrate aligned um, beyond that, it all comes down to splitting the graphic and I'm going to show you how to use your job origins to, to really help you align it correctly. So here we have a circle that is 48 inches and right next to it, I've already built a rectangle that I'm going to use to cut it. And the rectangle is 48 inches by half of the size, 24. And we're going to use this rectangle to cut out our circle. Now, in Lightburn, if you hover over the line, it's going to pick a node or a line point. And you can use that for snapping. So as soon as you have that cursor change, let me zoom out and reposition this. So as soon as you have that cursor change, to that little circle with a, a, a dash through it, you are in snapping mode. And then once you hover over the other piece, it should snap right on top of itself. So now I am locked in right at the halfway point on the top and also in the middle because we built the graphic to the same size. So. If I want to cut this, I'm going to select my circle. I want this circle to be cut by, so my secondary selection, shift, select the box. And now I'm going to use my subtract one shape from another. And now I have half of my circle. Now it's already selected, so I'm just going to either right click and copy, or you can do command C and copy. I'm going to do my use my back button and now I'm going to use the reverse boulon tool which is the intersection of two shapes and now it's going to grab the top so in my clipboard I have the bottom half of this circle saved and I'm just going to paste it in place so for me that's option V or I don't think you can use it with a right click, but you can do paste in place. And right here, it'll show you what buttons you have to hit for shortcuts for keystrokes. Now that we have our graphic split, I'm going to try to, to align or at least demonstrate how to align your, your work piece. So this is a sheet of plywood or that represents a, a, a sheet of plywood. And I'm going to once again, grab my snapping tool and bring it up and get it to snap in there. And what I would do is take that 24 inches from the top to your center point and, and basically make a line on your board that you're going to be cutting. And this is going to be your alignment point. Um, how I would set that up would be I would use my red pointer or my red alignment dot on the laser and I would run it across that line once I have that line drawn. And this is just for representation of show you exactly how you would set that up with a piece of plywood. So you have your two pieces. And we're going to pull this one down and separate it ever so slightly. So now we don't want to cut the center out. We really just want to cut the outside of the circle. So what I would typically do would be use my node edit. And if you hit D when you're hovering over a line, it's going to delete that line. And then we can click on this one and we hit delete you have the center of the, the graphics uh, deleted. Now we're ready to engrave. So we're gonna set it up for the engraving process and I'll, I'll explain to you how I line it up and, and how I would cut it. 
So we have our top piece and we have an origin point in the middle currently because we have two pieces there. But I'm going to choose my bottom left corner. I'm also going to get rid of this bottom piece. And I'm just going to end up going, you know, I can, I can cut it and then paste it again or I can use my undo. But right now we have our first step of the process for cutting. So the laser is going to start as an origin in this bottom left and then it's going to cut this and probably going to end up right back here. Then what we're going to do after it's finished cutting that first one is we're going to paste our other one down, get rid of this one, delete, move this over. And now we want to have a top left origin. This way, our first piece started bottom left. Our second piece starts top left. So it's starting in the exact same origin. And if you ended up draw, drawing that line on your substrate, um, then you, you already have this lined up and it's ready to go. So again, the, the first half would be an origin of bottom left or bottom right, however you want to set it up. But I recommend starting in the same exact spot on both pieces so we can get rid of, oops, we can get rid of this one and then our origin is bottom left, get rid of this one, our origin is top left. So let's take this out there on the machine and show you real quick how this works. Okay, so now we're out by the laser and I have reduced the size of this just for time's sake. Uh, it's still gonna work the same way. The theory is the same. Um, we have our four inch circle now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bottom half and remove it. And this is the important part for the alignment. The bottom origin. So I have my bottom origin selected and this is going to be our alignment point on the substrate as well. So on the substrate, I have, I use the straight edge. I measured two inches down and then I just use the straight edge to to make a line so I know that one, my substrate is straight and um, I know where to realign it for the second half of the burn. So what I usually do is I will just run, run my line and make sure that it is actually accurate. And it's just a, it's just a hair off. So I will adjust it ever so slightly. All right, once you have that lined up, I'm gonna lock my origin in. Oh, make sure you have your speeds and power set correctly. And now we'll just hit start. All right, so our first half of our circle is done. Now for the second half. I'm just going to undo. Now I'm going to delete the second one, or the, the top one, and I'm going to change my origin point. So now my origin point on the graphic is the same spot I started in on the top piece. Now if I hit start, matched up perfectly. Now, like I said, this is all going to be dependent on you making sure stuff is aligned. For once it is aligned, you should be able to pull this off fairly easily. Now 
that's it. So we have a circle. We cut it in two pieces. And we hit back real quick. And that was it. Two separate jobs, but one piece. And just enlarge that and you can really, you know, if you needed to split things several times, you can make um, really large objects. You can do the same exact thing with letters, names. Um, it works the same. All right, guys. Thanks for joining and uh, have a good one.